Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do some summons, okay? That the most high led me to do. Um, he gave me some hard ones, y'all. He didn't even want me to study. So I'm just I'm just gonna read them, okay? And if something comes to mind, I'll read it. Um, this is two chronicles, chapter 10 in the New Testament, okay? So let's begin. Rehoboam went to Schism, for all Israel had come to Sidron to make him king. When Jeroboam, the son of, the son of Nebat, heard of it, for he was in Egypt, where he had fled from the presence of King Solomon, Jeroboam returned out of Egypt. They sent him and called him, and Jeroboam and all Israel came, and they spoke to Rehoboam, saying, Your father made our yoke grievous. Now therefore make the grievous service of your father and his heavy yoke which he put on us lighter, and we will serve you. Okay, basically. People that, people that, people, individuals on Shanice Kina crew, they were they saying to the real God, okay? They were they saying, they were they saying, they saying, the real God made them do this. The, the real God made them grieve over this. They were saying, if he makes them stop thinking about what they did to Kia, blah, 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 they will serve him or some shit like that. That's what I'm getting, okay? He said to them, come again to me after three days. So the people departed. King Rehoboam took counsel with the old men who had stood before Solomon, his father, while he yet lived, saying, what counsel do you give me about how to answer these people? They spoke to him, saying, if you are kind to these people, please them and speak good words to them, then they will, they will be your servants forever. They say they want us to be weak too. They want us, not you, most high. They want us to be weak. They want us to bow down to these motherfuckers. Like, you know. Say nice things to them, please them, and speak good words, okay? Then they will probably let us live. But he abandoned the counsel of the old men, which they have given him, and took counsel with the young men who had grown up with him, who stood before him, okay? So they been with me the keys, okay? That was in Shanice King crew. He said to them, What counsel do you give that we may give an answer to the people who have spoken to me, saying, Make the yoke that your father put on us lighter? The young men who had grown up with him spoke to him, saying, Thus you shall tell the people who spoke to you or this Bible, saying, Your father made our yoke heavy, but make it lighter on us. Thus you shall say to them, my little finger is thicker than my father's waist. Now, where's my father burdening you with a heavy yoke? I will add to your yoke. My father chastised you with whips, but I will chastise you with scorpions. Um, my James said that in one of his interviews. So, Jibon and all the people came to Rehoboam the third day as the king asked, saying, Come to me again the third day. The king answered them ruefully, and King Rehoboam abandoned the counsel of the old men and spoke to them after the counsel of the young men, saying, My father made your yoke heavy, but I will add it to it. My father chastised you with rips, but I will chastise you with scorpions. Okay? Kill us. Basically, like, I guess, um, Bob J probably just beat your ass, like, you know, with rips and shit, pass you on to the slave announcers and shit. But with Nino Brown, he go, he got killers on his team type of shit. Okay. So the king didn't listen to the people, for it was brought about by God that the Lord might establish his word, which he spoke by Elijah, the Shonanite, to Jeroboam, the son of Nebat. When all Israel saw that the king didn't listen to them, the people answered the king, saying, What portion have we have we in David, the video? We don't have any inheritance in the son of Jesse. Every man to your tents, Israel. Now see to your own house, David. So all Israel departed to their tents. Okay. Um, this is going to be a short one. But, um, um, uh, they base basically when they say departed to their tents, they base okay. But as for the children of Israel who lived in the cities of Judah, we have them re 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 over them. <laughs> then King Rehoboam sent Haran 
who was over the men subject to forced labor, and the children of Israel stoned him to death with stones. King Ke Rehoboam hurried to get himself up to his chariot to flee to Jerusalem. So Israel rebelled against David's house to this day. Okay, whatever the hell this is we're talking about in 2 Chronicles chapter 10 is all on tape, okay? We just gotta find the tape, okay? Maybe the most high got it. The most high got it. Somebody got it, okay? Hope y'all enjoy this short Bible passage, okay? I'm out. Peace.